Hey everyone, so today I'm going to spend about 12 minutes of your time um, talking a little bit more in depth about food. So, so far we have gone over calories, how many calories you should eat, exercise, where to start with exercise, etc. But I wanted to go into depth about how Calories are not just calories. The The amount you're getting of each type of calories does matter. And I also want to show you some real life examples from a recent client that I had um, that actually just started. She's already down a little over three pounds since we started the first, uh, she officially started with me on December 7th. So it's been a couple of weeks. We're already down 3.3 pounds. We're in the middle of the holidays. And I just want to show you um, the value of not only tracking your food, but how the calories that you eat, the number actually really matters a whole lot for success. Um, so when we talk about food, and many of you that are in this group have likely heard me or someone else refer to macronutrients. So macronutrients basically means carbs, protein, and fat. Those are your three main macronutrients. Now, every gram of carbohydrate is four calories. Every gram of protein is four calories, and every gram of fat is nine calories. So fat has over two times as many calories as protein and carbs, which is why a lot of times I see when I start working with someone, they are not overly consuming carbohydrates, even though society has kind of told us to demonize carbs, like I need to cut carbs, I need to be lower carb, etc. Most of the clients that come to me are not overdoing it on the carbs. They are actually typically overdoing it on the dietary fat, not the good kind. Um, and they're drastically underutilizing protein. Now, protein is very, very important to your diet for many, many reasons. And for some of you guys, this is going to kind of sound like a broken record because I've said this so many times, but protein not only helps you build and maintain lean mass. So if your goal is to look lean and toned, you need protein, but it also helps keep you full it balances blood sugar. It's good for hormone production, as is dietary fats. Um, and each macronutrient, each protein, carb, and fat has a purpose for your body. So when we go into dieting, a lot of times these really popular diets are um, fixated on removing some sort of food group from your diet. So keto or low carb, they want you to eliminate carbs very, very low or um, keep them under a very minimal amount of gram. Um, some of these, like other style diets, they, they have fats be super, super low. Fats are incredibly important for hormone production. So you do need fats. You need healthy fats. Um, what I find is best for most of my clients is a balanced approach. This allows my clients to eat a multitude of foods, everything from eating oatmeal and egg whites to having pepperoni and pizza with their kids, and they still lose weight and reach their goals. Um, um, but what really we do a lot of times is just help people get consistency. So I want to show you this client that recently started with me. I'm going to go ahead and minimize my face. And I'm going to show you her diary. So this is from Tuesday, December 1st. So this is prior to her working with me. She exercises. She does the Peloton about three times a week. Um, she does a couple of strength training sessions. Um, she gets anywhere from seven to 8,000 steps a day. So she's relatively active. So she gets about three cardio sessions in a week, about two weight sessions, and she gets about 7,000 steps in her daily life. Now, prior to working with me, she was eating about 1,950 calories, um, 195 carbs, 65 grams of fat, and 146 grams of protein. And you can see here that she was pretty consistent. This is where how I look at my client's food. 
So prior to working with me, she was pretty consistent. She was tracking her food. Tracking is a tool. It is definitely not something that you have to utilize forever, but it can be a very, very helpful tool to see what you are eating the breakdown of what you are eating and help teach you to start to improve that. I firmly believe that if you are going to create some sort of sustainable nutrition like lifestyle, sustainable weight loss, sustainable habits, it is important for your coach to see your habits first. So we look directly at your food. Our clients use my fitness pal. We become their friends on my fitness pal. We are looking directly at their food every single week because the best way for us to teach you how to improve your food is to see what you are eating and get you to do better with the basic framework of what you've already given us. This is not a game of us telling you, you have to eat this for breakfast and you have to eat this for lunch. That does no one any good. We actually take a look at what you prefer to eat and start help you helping you improve it so that you can see results inside of your real life without feeling like you have to give up all of your favorite foods. So this client, before she was working with us, was doing pretty well. Entering in food, she was about 80% consistent. Pretty good here. A little lower on the end. So you can actually see she had set her calories at 1950, but she was eating fewer calories. So this day she was eating 1,455. This day she got a little bit closer. So she actually was doing pretty well prior to us working together, but she had plateaued, had not really seen any changes in quite a while. And here is where we started working together. So I actually increased her calories from about 1950 to 2090. So we gave her a calorie bump of about 130 calories. We increased her carbohydrates, we increased her fats, and we increased her protein. So we increased each of the macronutrients. We gave her more food. And as you can see, once we started working together, she started hitting things a little bit closer. Her breakfast, she has a shake with oatmeal and egg whites in it. Um, this is a great option for ladies that are a little bit busy in the morning or higher stress. This client does have, um, between her and her husband, they have five children at home of all ages. So she is busy. She has a full-time job. She's got a lot on her plate. So having a go-to liquid breakfast actually made a lot of sense for her because it allows for her to have something that's easy to digest. Liquid calories are already broken down. They're easier on the digestive system. But this had a really good focus on getting protein and fats. And you'll see how she actually got better. Um, she had you know, spaghetti for dinner. Looks like she had some sort of like um, veggie turkey crumble, um, uh, like omelet for lunch. And then she's got her snacks. She's got Greek yogurt, blueberry, bananas, a go chocolate crunch, um, granola. She's got a peanut butter mini bar. Um, she had tea, some oat milk creamer, collagen, Hershey Kisses. So... We don't tell our clients that they can't have any types of food, but you can see we increased her calories. She started hitting things pretty well. She added a little bit more healthy fats to her breakfast shake at my recommendation just to make sure that she was getting enough healthy fats first thing in the morning. And so here you can see she's eating more calories. She had trended anywhere in the 15, 1,450 to 1,550 number before. She was not hitting her targets. She was going about 70 to 80%. We increased her calories, gave her more food. She started eating more, being more consistent. And you can see she's got that go-to every single morning. She's eating pretty much the same breakfast. But then, you know, lunch and dinner are different. This, she had a Panera salad with a dinner roll. Um, 
she's having her pre-workout she's having some candy so we added some pre-workout calories she's got a built protein bar in there she had like a shrimp salad um you know just different types of food now her choice of food is going to be different than other people's choice of food um this is obviously what works for her she does that shake pretty consistently so just showing you she's very very adherent so we've brought her calories up long gone are the days where she's eating 14 1500 calories she's hitting things very consistently she's doing that shake we balance some things out um and what i can show you is since we started she was around 172.2 and the lowest weight she's hit has actually been 168.8 so she's lost a little over now this little bump here she had her cycle her menstrual cycle so this is that what that period of time which is why we see a little bit of a bump everybody gains weight on their menstrual cycle everybody gains water on their menstrual cycle but we have seen a decrease in the last two weeks of about 3.3 pounds she's eating more food she's more consistent She's working out a little bit less, actually. We cut one of her cardio sessions, um, and her body has really started to change. This client does not allow me to share um, her photos, so I'm not showing you the photos, but I am showing you the data. Um, so this just goes to show, just because you are under eating does not mean that you are going to lose weight. And the breakdown of her calories, we actually gave her more carbohydrates, more protein that was in line with her goals. And she was being more consistent and balancing her meals a little bit better. And we've really started to see results only in the first two weeks, you guys. So calories matter. The content of your calories matter. Consistency matters. You don't have to under eat to see success. Um, I have no doubt that this client is going to reach her 10 15 pound goal that she set at the beginning of um, our time together eating more doing less feeling better um, she had a better period this last month so if you have questions about how many calories you should be eating if you have been tracking your food and you always feel like you fall off or it gets confusing please let me know and reach out I just wanted to show you some real life examples of clients that we have this is a recent one like I said she started eating more we balanced out her calories a little bit she's a little bit more consistent and the proof is in the pudding we're already seeing changes to her body in just two weeks let me know if you have questions have a great day guys thank you